Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at joining two halves to make a whole. We're going to look at transforming them and making sure everything lines up so we can join them together. I'm starting with a document that is a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels, but it does not matter how big your document is. I'm going to use the pen tool and I'm going to draw sort of half of a heart. So I'm going to click and drag in an upwards direction and then I'm going to click and drag at the bottom of the heart. And right now I'm not concerned that any of this is not lined up because that's what we want to cover in this video. I'm going to press the escape key because that finishes off this shape. So I now have half a shape. For convenience I'm going to turn off the fill because it's just going to be easier to see everything. I'd also like to make the stroke a bit thicker but you'll see that by selecting the stroke here and selecting the shape. I can't actually get to the stroke options up here, that's fairly typical behaviour of Illustrator. So I'm going to the appearance panel and I'm just going to increase the stroke weight here. If you get stuck and can't find the stroke options you can always go to the appearance panel, there's also a stroke panel that you could use. Okay the next thing to make sure is that these two elements here and here are on the same vertical line. Now you can do that one of a few ways. You could go to the direct selection tool and click on each of these in turn and read off its X value. That's the value in from the side here and that needs to be the same for both of them. So I'm going to click down here, they are in actually both in the same place. So I'm actually going to move one because I don't want them to be in the same place. So here I could just click on this one, read off the value, click here and read off this value and change it. But there's actually an easier process still. I'm going to drag over both of these points. So I've selected this point and this point. I'm going to object and then path and average because what this allows me to do is to average out these values. So what I want to do is to line these two up to the vertical. So I'm going to select vertical and whatever this value is and this value is, they're going to be averaged out. So they're both going to move slightly. I'll click OK. Now these two are on a perfect alignment. To flip them over so we can create the other half of the heart, I'm going to make sure first of all that I have the whole shape selected. Don't do it with the direct selection tool because if there's more than two anchor points here, you can end up just reflecting the anchor points and not the whole shape and then it's just going to look bizarre. I'll choose object and then transform and reflect because I want to reflect this over the vertical. So we can see here that it's now going in the opposite direction, but I want two of them. I want the original plus this copy. So I'm just going to click here on copy. So now I've got my two shapes. Now if you can't get these to line perfectly up, you can again use a technique to do it. What I'm going to do is select over both of these shapes and I'm going to the align panel. So I've got mine over here. You can also go to window and align. So what you want to do here is to make sure that you've got selected align to key object and one of these will be the key object. Now in earlier versions of Illustrator, this was a drop down list. Just be aware that it's turned into icons now. If you've got a line to key object selected, then this option becomes available to you, the spacing between these objects. And what we want is no spacing at all. So we're just setting that to zero and we're just going to click here on horizontal distribute space. And what that does is it aligns these two objects with no space between them. In other words, they're now directly lined up. And so if we want to join these together, we can now go to the join command object, path, and then we'll just choose join. And that will join these together into a single object. If I zoom in here, you'll see that this is a single anchor point and up the top here, we've just got a single anchor point. So if you're ever stuck for making sure that two objects can be aligned and joined, there are your options. First of all, make sure that the two anchor points are in the same vertical alignment or horizontal alignment if that makes better sense for the shape you're working on. And then you want to butt them up so that there's no space between them. You can do it manually by just dragging, but you can also use that align option and that will work too. And then once you've done that, you can simply join your shapes together. I hope this video has been of help to you and introduced you to some commands in Illustrator that you weren't previously aware of. 
If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.